E aí galera, depois da grande, enorme atuação de Vinícius Júnior, também conhecido como dono do Real Madrid, hein? ontem contra o Liverpool pela Champions League, hoje todos, sejam britânicos, espanhóis, todos estão encantados pelo garoto brasileiro. E, inclusive alguns aí até ousaram fazer umas projeções bem ambiciosas. Eu confesso que eu prefiro curtir o momento, sem muita pressão e tal, mas eu não os culpo. Afinal, menino Vini evolui dia após dia. Uh, will Vinicius Jr. Dom win a Ballon d'Or before either Haaland or Mbappe? I think so. He reminds me of prime Neymar, Vini Jr. Oh. I think, I think he's an amazing talent. I think he just, he makes the game look easy. He's got wonderful balance, skill. He's, uh, he's so aggressive. He takes players on. He's confident. He's got an air of arrogance about him as well, which I actually quite like. I think the kid's a superstar. It, it, it's mentoring on the pitch. You can see it all the time talking to Vinny. Yeah, and how Vinny affects the game, it's obvious to see in a 1v1 situation. It's obvious to see when he scores a goal or when he assists a goal. But the fact that he keeps coming time and time and time again, and certainly going to keep coming when you think about the fact that you're going against Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's saying, oh, goodness, I love me some of this, because you know there's going to be space. He affects how Liverpool had to defend, because now Fabinho has to get out there, because now Joe Gomez has to get out there. Right, so it's not only the fact that Alexander Arnold is not defending Vinicius properly; it's how it affects everything else defensively for Liverpool and offensively for Real Madrid. Because Fabinho has to get out there, Joe Gomez has to get out there. It creates spaces in the middle. Where now that relationship with Karim Benzema, where he drops underneath, and now we're combining, and now we're having all this possession in the attacking half. Vinicius Jr. right now, when he focuses and concentrates on playing the game and displaying his talent. The special talent that he is, he is world class. He is at an elite level. When he concentrates and focuses on fighting with everybody else, he comes back to the crowd. But when he's all about playing, there's no stopping him. him. You know. Y Vinicius Junior, cuando un Madrid estaba absolutamente a la deriva, porque no había no había una reacción futbolística, estaba a, a la va desbordado. Si el segundo, el primer gol de Vinicius sí. es un golpe para el Liverpool. Eh, mortal, mortal, mortal. Que la victoria es una noche histórica para el Real Madrid, pero lo de hoy de Vinicius es algo no general. Yo. Eh, lo que tiene este, este equipo es que tiene muchos jugadores de, de calidad, de talento, y en este caso pues, ha aparecido eh, Vinicius para, eh, bueno, para sacar al equipo de esa situación eh, crítica, primero con un magnífico gol que, que, bueno, que ha permitido a Madrid ganar en confianza, meterse otra vez en la eliminatoria y luego con ese 2-2 que definitivamente cambia el, el panorama del partido y que el Liverpool... Ha, ha acusado. Esa parte de Vinicius, eh, partidazo de, de Valverde, partidazo de, de Rodrigo, que cada vez eh, se parece más a, a Karim en todos los sentidos, en todas las facetas del juego del, del francés. Eh, Vinicius ha estado letal. Creo que Vinicius, además, este partido de Anfield definitivamente le sube un peldaño más y le mm. sitúa a la altura de, sí. de los Mbappé y Haaland y compañía. Jugadores diferenciales capaces de cambiar en, en un partido en un visto y no visto. 